Hello everyone, this is Yakuro. In this first tutorial, I'm going to talk about CodeLight as the primary IDE for the Unreal Engine 4 on Linux. So, to use CodeLight, make sure you use at least the Unreal Engine 4.9. Um, all the versions are not supported, so yeah, make sure that you use at least this version. And uh, make sure you have, of course, CodeLight installed and use the most recent version. I am going to use 8.1. Um, yeah, so let's wait now for the browser. I should start soon. And then I'm going to create here a C++ project. I'm going to choose the third person template. We do, uh, we do not need any starter content. And yeah, let's do this. And uh, now uh, the Unreal build tool will create the uh, code light workspace and the project files and it will open code light and I see already that the toolbar is missing so let me switch this on and the first thing you should make sure is go here to global editor preferences to misc here general tabs and select check this one allow only single instance running so this is needed for the code like uh, code light source code accessor plugin okay so we have here the uh, workspace uh, I guess in Visual Studio it's called solution and we have here all the projects related to the Unreal Engine plus now the game project and a uh, game project and this that's this one and this one so those are the two targets the one target and this one is the game target and this one is the editor target so that means if you compile this one with build it will uh, build the game the standalone game and if you build this, it will build the game module for the Unreal Editor. So if you double click on it, you set it active. Should be familiar from Visual Studio. And then make sure you are selecting here the configuration. So you have the debug, debug game development, shipping and test. I'm not going to explain them now. Uh, in later tutorials, I will talk uh, in more details about them. So select it and yeah here you can select again your project or double click and yeah so now we can compile the module let's first compile the module because the game will take a while uh, yeah make sure you selected the configuration now it will start compiling the module and what you see here is a code light starts parsing the uh, uh, workspace here for the code completion and it will be uh, available available after finishing this and uh, yeah here let me show that code light is using two code completion uh, methods so one it's using C tax uh, and or clang so you can switch that here on which gets uh, more accurate but a bit slower but I will talk about those in later tutorials too for now let's leave it and here now let me talk about the files here so we have those two projects they are just different in the sense of compiling them or running them later but they reference the same file so it doesn't matter if you open uh, for example my project character here or uh, here it's the same file uh, yeah okay so it's still compiling uh, parsing and we compiled so let me start the editor again 
and soon the code completion thing is finished so then I can show you a couple of things so here now let me switch to the header file I can do that with the key F12 or right click here or and select and uh, code light has actually a nice uh, code generation and refactoring section and you can do stuff like renaming symbols for example if you want to rename this one you double click on it go here and say rename symbol and then you can do that yeah let's open this and then you can where is it uh, implement all implemented functions or implement inherited virtual functions for example if we go our still oh why didn't it work let me try again ah okay um, yeah so as you can see now you can overwrite all those functions but yeah that's not what I'm going to do now um, yes yeah, so saying that um, the editor runs okay we compiled everything so for example let's we can start then we can run and jump right no problem and now um, make sure that the code light source code accessor plugin runs so enable it here if it's not enabled already and that should do the job and then for example we have here our C++ classes if I double click on it it will open that file and then I can open the source either with yeah, right click on uh, on the editor field here and then select this or press F12 okay so and let's create for example a new class and then I call this, uh, what do I call it? Let's create a pawn class additionally to our main character. Um, yeah, pawn, let's call this a spaceship because our game supports a, a third person character and a spaceship. Okay, so now, um, the Unreal Engine will, uh, the Unreal Editor will create the new uh, files, source files, and create the new projects and reopen it in code light. So because it got modified and we have new files. And yeah, unfortunately, in this version of the code light integration, you have to make sure every time you add a new class with from the uh, Unreal Editor, uh, and then it reloads, you have to set uh, the active project and the configuration. So hopefully in future versions, it will be done automatically. Okay, so yeah, now we have here our spaceship. Awesome. Okay, now, for example, to show the code completion, now we have here the input component or here, for example, um, and if I start typing, I have here already input component suggested and then here all the member uh, functions. It's quite nice and quite fast. Um, and then I can do stuff like, yeah, for example, if you don't want to use the documentation, you can, for example, if you want to know which variables are accessible or which member functions are there, you can just right click on this and go say, go to declaration, then it will open it. And then you can just look here around. And that's how I do sometimes developing stuff. Yeah, here, for example, another thing I like to show is, for example, I make a function void, uh, yeah, thrust spaceship, and then it has a float val a parameter. And then I can say now, right click, code generation refactoring, and then 
was it implement all unimplemented functions no I thought it was that yeah it was it somehow I guess I have to wait just a short time until uh, code light parses that file again and then I can yeah I can select the file it should go into a spaceship and then say okay tack boom and I have here the stuff and pff, what can I do thrust I could say for example f uh, vector oops f vector and then uh, get actor uh, forward vector and then multiplicate this by a value I'm just doing nothing serious here so we would have this and then I would say for example at local uh, at local offset and then it moves the spaceship forward uh, whatsoever okay so um, is there something else I can show yeah so um, I, ah yeah exactly so for example the hot reload so unfortunately if I let me change for example the jump velocity so let me jump here that you can see jump so it jumps like this and now you could do this change the value and now uh, yeah make sure that you compile the module then I say build now it should jump really quite high right um, and unfortunately this will not work so compiling it from here will not be recognized by the Unreal Editor so it will not hot reload at the moment um, because the hot reload on Linux still is a bit buggy I'm not sure if it's only Linux but at least it doesn't work always and this this way will not work so just a short time um, Okay, finished and let's start here and you will see nothing changed uh, what you can do is you can do this let's change this here again save and then you can use this compile button and sometimes this works and sometimes it does not so I don't know there is really a bug and ah, okay as you can see it didn't work but sometimes it works and then it hot reloads and then you can see the difference directly in the editor so now the question is yeah okay now you compile the module and you want to see the difference how you're going to do that unfortunately for now you have to restart the editor or um, you can do this if you have already some stuff let's close this you can start the module or the Unreal Editor in game mode. So make sure that you selected this uh, uh, project, so the editor target, and then oh, the toolbar is gone again. And then if you hit here now, run active project, then it will compile your last change stuff save it and then start um, the unreal editor using this module in game mode so you won't see all the editor stuff you will just see the game itself and and actually you can even use like this the debugger so you can put here breakpoint with f9 for example and then hit here this would be the debug so at the moment I can't show but uh, so now it starts and just a short moment and okay yeah here so now we have the uh, game and we started it 
from code light using the game game mode of the unreal editor so usually uh, and you see we the you see the change immediately uh, i could do this let's change this for example now really small i press run so that is like uh, i cannot show that here if you start for example uh, the oops let's go here the UE editor in game mode so you specify here usually the project uh, blah 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 and then game mode so that is how uh, code light starts this project and now yeah I changed the jump velocity again and I start again and that's how you can work so that would be the total c plus plus workflow so you don't have to really start the editor to do your development in c plus plus and yeah and you see oops it jumps okay so of course you can do that here with a, a, a game target too with uh, in setting this active this project but this, uh, that would now take a while to com compile the whole game. But at the moment it's uh, trickery, so you have to prepare um, cooked stuff. So, so the Unreal Editor can be started, uh, can start your project without cooking uh, uh, your project, uh, which is quite handy. So you can just start and debug and co uh, program and and this version the game needs of course the cooked stuff so you should you could cook everything and use this so the um, the benefit in using the game target would be which i figured out is um, the unreal engine starts a lot faster and you can debug faster but yeah i will go into those stuff in later tutorials okay so i showed uh, this too how to start the editor in game mode and you can program yeah so i think for now that's it i can for now just wish happy coding using codelight and the unreal engine 4 on linux and maybe i forgot something but yeah if you have questions comments uh what you like to see in other tutorials yeah please feel free to put your comments and yeah so see you next time